depleted HVAC filter is the most purchased air filter in the United States. Its relatively short lifespan, sacrificial purpose, and the fact that nearly all US HVAC systems are designed to include pleated filters, it makes them a prime target for filter manufacturers. With each pleated filter looking so much like the other, and tester ports being almost identical in results, the differences in how they're manufactured that will give a real-world performance gain can be difficult to spot. Most pleated filters utilize a white beverage board frame that offers some protection against water, snow, and humidity. Craft board frames, which are brown in color, are rarely used because they do not hold up well to the rigors a pleated filter must endure in an HVAC system. Die-cut frames are also the popular choice as they give sturdy diagonal support when compared to cheaper strap frames. However, because the strap frame is so much cheaper to produce, it is popular among low-end pleats. Not all die-cut frames are created equal, either. Some will have significantly more diagonal cross numbers than others, which leads to a longer-lasting product in real-world conditions. Support for the filter's media has multiple variations as well, from the most durable welded wire grids to plates that have no support at all, called cell-supported filters. They are certainly a cheaper production method, but not very durable in the real world. Most commonly, you will encounter a pleated filter supported by expanded metal. These vary much in thickness, which will impact the durability of the filter. And without getting a filter in your hand, you will have no way of knowing just how thick that expanded metal is, which is why it is usually easier to specify a welded wire grid support system. How the pleats themselves are configured is also an important indicator of the filter's performance. Traditional V or Chandler style pleats are the dominant configuration. With such sharp changes of direction, voids are left to pinch off airflow and dust holding capacity, leading to short filter life and more energy use over time. Pleats with a U shaped configuration allow for full utilization of the media area, resulting in longer filter life and require lower fan speeds. The material of the media itself is also a factor going largely unchecked, mainly due to the fact that most pleated filters use a coarse fiber synthetic media as opposed to the more costly high loft fine fiber. The big difference here is in how the particulate loads onto the media. With coarse synthetic medias, particulate loads predominantly on the face of the media. This loading pattern offers the lowest possible dust holding capacity. However, by using high loft fine fiber media, the particulate can depth load into the fluffy looking media and still allow a path for air, resulting in significantly longer life, usually two to three times that of face loading synthetics. In summary, the decisions manufacturers make can reduce their costs by two thirds or more if they choose the cheapest components across the board. And in today's world of low first cost procurement, consumers are being stuck with poor performing cheap products. But by knowing what to look for, you can save a significant amount of time, energy, and money by ensuring that you are using quality products. Cheap pleats will feature a non-die cut frame, self-supporting media, Chandler or V-shaped pleat configuration, and synthetic media. Quality, long-lasting pleats will have a die cut beverage board frame, welded wire support, U-shaped pleat configuration, and high loft fine fiber media.